Okay, so I just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I went on my Roblox and I saw that I have a warning. It's a moderation warning. And I'll just refresh the page here a few times just to show that this is actually legit. It says reviewed 417 2024. That's today at like 3 a.m. in the morning. Moderator note says we received a copyright removal request for one or more of your creations. After reviewing the request, our moderation team has removed your creation reason ip violation so copyright so someone copyright strike me they filed a dmca strike against something i have on roblox right which is ironic after the video i just made last night but anyway it says offensive item asset id here's the id and i was like what is this what 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 item is violating copyright law here what's going on and well that's when i went on twitter and saw a bunch of people talking about this the Creek Craft hat deleted two hours ago, created four years ago. The Creek Craft hat is officially deleted off of Roblox. Um, that's wild. It says that I can find additional information in my verified email inbox and in Roblox messages. So let's agree. Let's reactivate my account here. And oh, dear. <laughs> okay, no, we're good. <laughs> Scared me for a second. It said, go into my messages. Let's see what we got. Apparently, there's a message here. Oh, here it is right here. I see it. Okay, this is from Roblox at 4 a.m. in the morning. It says, the following content is no longer available on Roblox because it violates our community standards. These standards outline expectations to ensure that everyone on Roblox feels welcome and safe and is treated with respect. Wait, what? It feels welcome and safe and is treated with respect. Kind of a weird thing to say about a hat. I don't think this was, I don't think the hat was making anybody feel unwelcome and unsafe, but okay. Uh, content. Oops, I clicked off of it. I clicked on the Roblox's profile. There it is. Okay. Content. Creek Craft Hat. There it is. Uh, intellectual property violation. Violation of community standards may result in action being taken on your Roblox account. If you believe this content decision was an error, you can contact us. Thank you for keeping Roblox safe and civil, the Roblox team. So that didn't really tell me too much. But anyway, I just tweeted this out here because obviously a lot of you guys have bought the hat. You're wondering where it's at. In fact, I, I think it had like over 100,000 cells, like maybe even over a million. I don't know. It's a really, really popular item. Um, my hat on Roblox got deleted due to a DMCA copyright takedown. Either A, Roblox filed it themselves, or B, someone is already abusing the new DMCA system. So let's talk about this. Now, this is something I didn't talk about in last night's video, but as part of the public UGC rollout that's going on, Roblox actually created a new system. Um, this right here. To counter people who are infringing on your IP, your intellectual property, Roblox has recently released a rights manager to request removals. And basically what this means is that anyone can go and file a DMCA takedown, a copyright strike, essentially against any item that is using your property. So like, for example, let's imagine that I'm Disney, right? And someone uploaded Mickey Mouse to the Roblox marketplace. I could use this system, the system right here, the new removal request DMCA strike system to send a copyright takedown to the person who uploaded Mickey Mouse to the marketplace. That's that's what the system is designed to do. It's a way to issue a, a legal Keyword legal DMCA request to take down any items that are infringing on your copyright. So what this means is one of two things has happened. Either A, Roblox filed it themselves, or B, someone is abusing the DMCA system. Because let, let's talk about this. So this right here is my original Roblox hat. There it is right there. And it, it's kind of ironic because I made a video talking about my Roblox hat like last year. And I mentioned that one day something like this would probably happen and well here we are it's happening and then obviously here is the original Cree craft hat as well and that hat is actually sitting right back there now for the people that don't know the reason why I changed my hat and the reason why I have a new hat is actually because of this very same problem that just occurred. The hat I'm wearing right now, the hat on my head, this Roblox hat right here, I actually own all the rights to. This is my hat. Like legally, I own this hat. This is mine. Every bit of it, this is mine. This hat right here, however, my old hat, obviously I don't. This is a dead mouse hat. I'm not gonna get too much into the details. We already made a whole video talking about this, but 
basically I don't wear this hat anymore because I don't own the 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 copyright to it. I don't own the the trademark to it. It's not my hat. But TLDR, a long long time ago, whenever I was making the original Roblox hat here, which was based on this one, Roblox actually told me I couldn't. Right. Roblox told me that it was a little bit too close to Mickey Mouse. They didn't want it on the marketplace. It looked too close to Mickey Mouse, which is really ironic, because if you go on the marketplace now and you search up Mickey Mouse on the marketplace, there's literally tons of Mickey Mouse items all over the marketplace. So little ironic. But anyway, the original version of the hat here actually had eyeballs on it. It looked it looked closer to to this right here. It originally had like eyeballs on it, it was going to be a little bit different, obviously, because, you know, I don't want to get sued. But um, it originally had eyeballs on it. Roblox said they couldn't do that. It looked too close to Mickey Mouse. Change it up, right? So I talked to Roblox. This was a long, long time ago, right? I talked to Roblox and essentially we agreed that we would put the Roblox O's on it as like eyeballs, right? Roblox was okay with it. I was cool with it. You know what? It looks fine. It's on Roblox. Let's do it. And that's the story of the original hat, right? So what I'm saying here essentially is there's only two people in the world that have the ability ability to DMCA take down that hat. Number one is myself and number two is Roblox because it does have the the Roblox logo on it. Now I didn't file the takedown myself clearly. So the question is did Roblox do it? Now according to some of the replies here on my tweet the the tweet I posted here apparently Roblox has been removing items that have the Roblox logo in it so there is a chance that it could have totally been Roblox that removed the item and obviously if it was Roblox that filed the DMCA takedown request then there's nothing really I can do about it they're in their legal right there is the Roblox logo on it it just kind of sucks because four or five years ago whenever this thing was made Roblox was the ones that told me it was okay to put the Roblox logo on there, right? Like, they're the ones that was like, yeah, you know, instead of eyeballs, just put the Roblox logo on there. It'll be fine, right? And it's funny because in the video that I made last year talking about my new hat, this video right here, the end of an era video, I literally said in this video that one day Roblox might change their mind. They told me that it was okay. They said that they didn't mind, but they might change their mind one day. And legally, if they do change their mind, there won't be anything that I can do about it. And well, it looks like I was right in that video, or I might have been right in that video. Because if Roblox did file the DMCA takedown, well, then there's nothing really I can do about it. The hat will be permanently deleted off of Roblox, which is why we made the new hat, because I feared that one day something like this might happen. And potentially here we are. But what if Roblox didn't file it themselves? What if it wasn't Roblox that did it? What if it's someone abusing the DMCA system? Because again, like I said, there's only two people that can take this hat down legally. That's me and Roblox. Now, if it wasn't Roblox, well, then that means that it was probably a false DMCA. Someone abusing the DMCA system, which has happened and has been happening on Roblox. Meaning that someone falsified a DMCA, which is illegal, by the way. That is illegal to do. That is a legal process. You can't falsify that. It is illegal to falsify a DMCA. So if someone did do that and I file a counter DMCA, right, to try and get the hat back, then this could begin a whole legal process where me and the person who filed the false DMCA go back and forth. This could end up in court, right? Like that that's how these legal processes work. Now, again, there have been a lot of false DMCA is going around Roblox right now. Could it be that that's what happened? Possibly. I, I, I don't know. So TLDR, either Roblox changed their mind and they deleted the hat, in which case there's really nothing I can do. Or B, someone falsified a DMCA report and they illegally took down the hat, in which case I will file a counter DMCA notice and begin the, the legal process to get the hat back on Roblox. For the people wondering about this hat, could it happen to this hat? Like I already mentioned, I own full rights to this hat. This is my hat. This hat right here is mine. I own all the rights to it. Nobody can take down this hat. If it ever gets taken down, it was taken down illegally, right? This is mine. So right now, it's just a matter of waiting until Roblox responds to see if it was Roblox that took it down or if I need to begin the process of filing a counter DMCA 
against potentially whoever falsely sent in a DMCA request. So normally I'd wait until I get these answers to make this video, but I actually got to go. I'm going on a, a, a business trip secret thing I can't really tell you guys about yet. <laughs> I basically, I got to go get on a plane and I may or may not be able to make a video for a few days. And since this affects a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys spent money on this item. I mean, this was my, you know, this was the Roblox item for me. Uh, I wanted to get this video out to you guys, just letting you guys know that I'm aware of this and uh, that I'm looking into it. But I'll keep you guys updated. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, this is why we made the new hat. This is why we made the new hat, because I knew that one day this day would come. I'll see you guys next time.